Audio presents You Are a Badass at Making Money Master the Mindset of Wealth. This is the author, Jen Sincero. Jen Sincero. For Gina DeVee, whose wise guidance, loyal friendship, and relentless ass kicking helped me out of the garage and into a whole new financial reality. You are the sky. Everything else, it's just the weather. Pema Chodron. Introduction. If you're ready to make more money, you can. I don't care how many times you've tried and failed, or if you're so broke you're selling your bodily fluids for bus fare, or how often you found yourself center stage at the checkout counter, feigning shock and indignation. Are you sure? Declined? Decline? That's impossible. That's Can impossible. you run it one more time? No matter how out of the question it may seem for you at this moment, you can make lots I'm of money. I'm listening to you are bad at making money. Everyone, I I'm still poor at 51 years old, money, okay? If that's so, what turns you on. I'm going to listen to this. I'd also like to point out that there's nothing horribly wrong with you if you haven't figured out how to do it yet. Money is one of the most loaded topics out there. We love money, hate money, obsess over money, ignore money, resent money, hoard money, crave money, badmouth money. Yeah, bad mouth money. Money is right with so much desire and shame and weirdness. It's a wonder we can utter the word above a whisper, let alone go out and joyfully rake it in. Have you been brave enough to read this book in public, I wonder, with the title in full view? It reminds me a lot of how we've been conditioned to deal with sex. sex. Another gold medalist in the topics that totally freak people out competition. Sex. When it comes to having sex and making money, you're supposed to know what you're doing and be all great at it, but nobody teaches you anything about it, and you're never supposed to talk about it because it's inappropriate, dirty, not so classy. Both money and sex can provide unthinkable pleasures, birth new life, and inspire violence and divorce. Violence and divorce. We're ashamed if we don't have it. We're even more ashamed to admit we want it. We will do things and people we're not nuts about in order to get it. And I know I'm not the only one who has caught myself fantasizing about a stranger dressed like Batman coming up and giving me some on a bench in Central Park. Am I? The good news is if you, like most people, have a troubled or conflicted relationship with money, you have the ability to heal it, transform it, and become such awesome pals with money that you wake up one day to find yourself standing in the middle of the life you've always wanted to live. And you could start making this change right now. Right now. All you need to do is wake up to what's holding you back, make new, powerful Shabby. choices about what you focus on, and smarten yourself about money and go for it like you ain't never gone for it before. Go which for is it. what this book will help you do. I personally transformed my financial reality so quickly and massively that everybody who knows me well is still wondering what the hell happened. What the hell and happened? And believe me when I say if my broke ass can do it, you can do it too. You can do it no too. No matter how rickety or hopeless you may feel right now. Because I knew precisely zero things about making money until I was in my 40s. My 40s. That's the age when most people possess things like houses, and college funds for their kids, and an understanding of how the Dow Jones works. Meanwhile, at 40, I possessed a barren bank account, a deep wrinkle line between my eyebrows from stress, and a first name basis relationship with Sheila at the collection agency. For the vast majority of my adult life, I was a freelance writer, forever scrambling for work that paid an insulting non-amount, considering how time-consuming and challenging it was. Had I actually done the math, I would have realized just how free my lancing was, but I instead chose to be in denial of the facts, work harder, complain more, and just, you know, hope that I'd somehow magically start raking in the dough. Work harder and complain more. That's the classic way everyone makes money, money, right? My, life. my watertight plan for getting out of financial struggle was partly based on having a whole lot of hang-ups about money. Money is evil, rich people are gross, I have no idea how to make it, I have no idea what to do with it even if I did know how to make it, etc. As well as my perpetual and torturous state of indecision. 
I knew I was a writer, and I also knew I wanted to do more than sit alone in a room in my robe and type all day. I just didn't know what it was I wanted to do. And rather than just picking something already and seeing where it led, I chose to bite my nails down to bloody nubs and wallow in the I don't know what the hell I want to do with my life quagmire for years, as in decades. It was so painful and mm. devastating. Devastating. And utterly paralyzing. Paralyzing. This is how I found myself at the ripe old age of 40, living in a converted garage, in an alley, in fear of requiring dental work, excelling at financial mediocrity in the following ways. Eating, drinking, filling my pockets with anything that was free, regardless of whether or not I really liked it or needed it, walking countless blocks in flip-flops to save $5 on Valentine's.